What up? Tyler here, Tarver Academy. I want to talk to you about simplifying exponential expressions, okay? So, what we're going to do here is we're going to simplify, which means make it like you're not solving it, but you're like making it like as the simplest version possible, like breaking it down until you get to as most compact as you can. And exponential means it's got exponents, and expression just means it's like a math thing, okay? So let's start with like um, negative 4 squared, okay? So if I wanted to simplify this, it would be essentially like breaking it down and then multiplying. The part that makes it crazy is that 2 is outside of a negative. So usually if it's like 4 squared, you're like, oh, it's 16, 4 times 4. This one's a little different because you're actually, since it's outside the parentheses, it's attached to everything inside of the parentheses, which is, includes that negative. So that's the same as saying negative 4 times negative 4, which is still going to be a positive 16. Now let's look at one that wouldn't be quite as simple. So let's say we got negative 2 cubed. That's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. All right, this one's a little different. Here, a negative times a negative equals a positive. Here you're doing a negative times a negative does equal a positive. It's positive 4. Then bringing it down, that's times negative 2 which equals a negative eight, okay? I'm gonna show you a trend here. If, you're, um, have an, if you have an exponent and it's including a negative, it includes the negative in there. If that exponent is positive, if it's a, I'm sorry, it's positive, it's throwing positive, it must be positive. If that exponent is an even number, it will be a positive. If that exponent is an odd number, it's going to be a negative because it's like flipping back and forth. Like every other multiply, it's going to go from positive to negative to positive to negative. So if it's an even number, it's going to be a positive. If it's an um, odd number, it's going to be a negative. Okay, let's look at a couple examples that will probably trip you up. Okay, so let's say we've got um, negative 4 to the fourth. Say um, negative 2 to the sixth, and then let's say negative three to the third. All right, here we go. All right, so I've got, let's do this, let's add a number in there. All right, so let's start with the first one. This is where, <clears throat> this is where you're gonna mess up if you're typing this in a calculator, okay? When you type this in a calculator, any of these problems, if you see parentheses, type the parentheses in. A lot of people will get lazy and just type it um, without the parentheses, it's going to give you the wrong answer. And this is why. The difference is between these two problems right here. Whenever you type this in, that, that uh, 4 exponent is not attached to both of these. It's not attached to the negative. Even though the negative has no other owner besides the 4, it is not attached to that exponent. That exponent is very clingy. It is, it's like one of those birds that sits on a rhino. It's only attached to what is directly hitting. Now, with parentheses there, it means everything inside the parentheses. Like that three is not attached to that two because it's, it's there. This one, it's there. Here, it's literally only touching that four. It does not approach the negative, okay? So let's say four to the fourth, that's four, times four, which is 16, times four, which is 64, times four, which is 252, I think. Hope I got that right. Okay? I promise I didn't do that before, and it's been a while since I've done that math. 252, and that negative just comes down. It's like the negative just like steps back and goes, all right, do your math. Do your math. Hey, do your math. Hey. That's juju on that beat. All right. So it goes in, and uh, then you just do the number and stick the negative back in the front. Okay? Let's look at another one. This one's different because the negative is in the parentheses with it. So therefore, whenever you're doing this exponent, multiplying something times itself, times itself, times itself, the negative is going to join the ride, okay? So we've got negative 2. All right, first off, is this going to be a positive or a negative whenever I get done with it? I told you earlier. It's going to be a positive because that 6 is an even number, which means it's always going to end up being a positive number. So I can really drop the negative and make it 2 to the 6 and find my answer. We're not going to do that because I kind of want to illustrate it to you. So I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it down here so I have room. Negative 2 times negative 2. I've got to make 6 of these. There's 3, 4, 5, 6. Man, 
All right, so let's do the first two. That's uh, negative two times negative two is positive four. Now I'm multiplying that times negative. Sorry, I did that weird. Um, that's four times negative two is negative eight. And I'm gonna go up here. Negative eight times negative two is negative 16. And then I'm gonna go up here. Negative 16 times negative two is positive 32. I think I did something wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then 16 times negative two is negative 64. That doesn't seem right. Is that right? That's not right. Where'd I mess up, guys? Where'd I mess up? Help me. I'm going to keep this real. I'm going to keep it real. You know, Tyler, going to keep it real. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Times negative 2 is negative 8. Oh, I messed up right here, guys. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. Did you catch that? If not, just keep watching. Don't zone out. Don't stare at your phone. Get off the phone. You ain't really texting your mom. You're on Snapchat. 16 times negative 2 is negative 32. Negative 32 times negative 2 is negative I'm sorry, positive 64. I would not have caught that if I didn't look at this beforehand and know that I was going to get a positive. I would have just been like flowing and working and being done. I'm going to stay real though, all right? 2 times negative 3 to the third or cubed, all right? Again, it does not count that 2. It will count the negative because it's in there. You know, since that's an odd number, you're going to end up with a negative number because it's going to flip back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to stay a negative. So negative 3 times negative 3 it's positive 9 times another negative 3, which is negative 27. So 2 times negative 27 equals another negative, because, you know, positive times a negative is a negative. It's 54. And that's your answer. You just learned it. You just learned it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you all for joining me. Peace. Oh, hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. But you click that. Anyways, I'll wait. <laughs>